Vague Learners. I am Teacher Marlon. And the answer is love. Great job, grade 5 learners. Congratulations. Learners, I will show you some video clips and all you have to do is observe because I will ask you questions afterwards. Are you ready? Let's go! What do you think are the effects of soil erosion to the community, to humans, to animals, and plants? Our topic for today is about the effects of soil erosion. And this is our learning target. I can enumerate the effects of soil erosion on life forms and living things. Please repeat. Great job, learners! We will discuss now the effects of soil erosion. Any natural phenomenon including soil erosion impacts both living and non-living things here on Earth. 
soil erosion not only shapes the landforms of the earth but also affects the environment especially if it occurs suddenly human activities such as deforestation illegal logging overgazing and quarrying also worsen the effects of soil erosion in the environment so what are the effects of soil erosion to landforms plants animals and humans the effects on landforms it takes hundreds of years for the effects of soil erosion on landform to alter the shape and function of a certain landform. Soil erosion may kill vast masses of land and transform a mountain into a hill or a plateau. Excessive deforestation, mining, and conversion of mountains to residential or commercial lands could trigger erosion that can be destructive to the environment as a large mass of soil is scratched and worn away. However, soil erosion can also add up to the beauty and wonder of nature. For example, the sand dunes. The effects on plants. The effect of soil erosion would mean less production of food. Plants get most of its nutrients from the topsoil. The topsoil contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. During erosion, the topsoil is carried away by wind and water. So plants will not grow well due to lack of nutrients. Too much soil erosion makes the soil unable to hold or absorb water. Thus, the soil is dry, coarse, and eventually unfit for vegetation. Moreover, sediments can clog the irrigation system. Not enough water supply for the plants anymore effects on animals and humans. As plants are their main source of food nutrients, this can also affect the animals and humans. Less food production means less food source or supply. Less food of supply affects the ecosystem. Also, farmers have difficulty sustaining their lives as their livelihood source would have problems if they do not have a good fertile soil on to which to plant. Another is the mine thing. Mineral waste or left over after mining pollutes the seas and rivers and it affects the aquatic animals and also the people supply of potable water, sickness to animals and humans. Furthermore, soil erosion puts humans and animals to risk due to landslides and loss of lives and shelter. That's all for our discussion grade 5 learners. This time, you will do a simple experiment at home. Put some soil in a basin, put plants, and pour water on it. Observe what happened. So, what are the effects of soil erosion to landforms, to plants, to animals, and humans? Excellent grade 5 learners, I am so proud of you. Since we have already known the effects of soil erosion to all of us, what do we need to prevent soil erosion? Right, plant trees, 
Great job, learners! What are the signs of soil erosion that you have observed around your community or in other places? Great job, learners! It's wrap-up time! Let's see if you have understood our lesson for today. Read and understand the statement carefully. Choose the letter of the best answer. Let's begin! Which of the following statement is not true about soil erosion? A. It is a natural phenomenon. B. It impacts both living and non-living things. C. It affects the environment. And letter D. It does not shape the landforms of the earth. And the answer is letter D. Great job, learners! Number two. These are human activities which worsen the effects of soil erosion in the environment, except A. Overgazing. B. Quarrying. C. Reforestation. And letter D. Illegal logging. And the answer is correct. Letter C. Great job, learners. Number three. When is soil erosion beneficial to humans and animals? A. There is shaping and formation of soil. B. There is clogging of irrigation canals. Letter C, there is change in appearance of mountains. Letter D, there are damages of slopes of mountains. And the answer is letter A. Great job, learners. Number four. Which of the following is the effect of soil erosion to humans and animals? A. Put to rest due to landslides. B. Pollution of water. C. Loss of lives and shelter. Letter D. All of the above. And the answer is... Correct! It's letter D. Great job, learners! Number five. As a student, what simple activity can you do to prevent soil erosion? A. I will join some environmental advocacies. B. I will tell authorities to stop mining in our place. Letter C, I will join in a tree planting activity in our school. And letter D, I will stop the illegal logging activities. And the answer is, correct! Letter C, great job learners! Congratulations! You did an excellent job! I am so proud of you! But oops! We are not yet done, learners, because you still have words to do at home. Grade 5. Plan your own model to show one way of minimizing the harmful effects of soil erosion. And that's all for now, learners. I hope you have learned a lot from our lesson for today. This is once again Teacher Marloy your teacher on the go. Till next time, see ya!